Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at index match and that combination of functions, but with a bit of a twist where we have multiple criteria to determine which row and which column within our array to pull our response. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a data range here that has three years worth of data, 2015 through 2017, and broken down by the four quarters. So that gives me 12 columns worth of data. And I have four locations, and within those four locations, four different products. So that's 16 rows. And I want to be able to choose from a data dropdown the year, the quarter, the location, and the product, and have this cell pull the appropriate value here. Now here is our formula. It's basically an index match formula, but notice I wrapped it in an if error so that if there are no values selected here, I'll just get a blank. But more importantly, notice it has curly brackets around it, so it's an array formula. So let's walk through how we built this and see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and delete the formula that we have here, and we'll build it from scratch. It's quite simple. So we're going to start out with a typical index and match type function. I'm going to say equals index tab, and my array is going to be this range of data. I'm just going to lock these. Then I'm going to choose the row by using the match function. And with the match function, my lookup value is going to be both the location, and I'm going to use the ampersand, and the product, comma. The lookup array is going to be this list of cities. And again, using my ampersand, this list of products. I'm going to, again, lock all these ranges so they are absolute cell references rather than relative cell references. I'll put in a comma, then my match type 0 for exact, close that parentheses, hit comma, and now I'm going to determine the column. Again, I'll use the match function. My lookup value is going to be year, lock that, ampersand, quarter, hit F4 to lock that, comma, and my lookup arrays are going to be this row worth of years, and this row worth of quarters. Lock that, comma, and again, zero for exact. Close the match function and close the index function. And I'm going to hit enter and notice I get a value error. Well, the reason that is, is because, again, by just hitting enter, I did not make this an array formula. And the reason it's an array formula is because we are not just looking up one value within an array. We are looking up multiple values in multiple arrays. So Excel needs to do a whole series of calculations, not just an individual lookup. Therefore, we need to make this an array formula. So instead of Enter, I'm going to hit Control-Shift-Enter, and now I get an NA only because I haven't made any choices. Again, if I choose my year, I'll choose a quarter, a location. Again, I'm just picking the first off the list, and I'll pick a product. And you can see I get 9619, which is for Detroit Product 1 2015 Q1. If I chose Product 4 for, say, Dallas, I will get 274.6, and again, that is correct. The only other thing I might want to do is I'm going to wrap this in an if error function. Go to the end, comma, I'll just put double quotes to give me a blank. And again, I have to hit Control Shift Enter. And this way, if one of these is not chosen, I just get a blank here rather than an error. I can choose again any quarter, any year, any of those combinations and Excel will pull the correct value from my range. And that's how easy that is to do in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. 
I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.